All right, we got a little troubleshoot visit this morning. So we're gonna see what's going on. Customer says TV's not working. So we're gonna investigate and see what's happening. All right, we got our Savant remote. Let's go ahead and give it a test and see what is and isn't working. So let's do Xfinity. Macintosh preamp clicked on. Macintosh amp clicked on next. Getting sound. But no picture. Okay, let's try the TV's remote. No power there. Let's try physical button press behind here. Still no power to the TV. Let's check the electrical connection. Okay, so we got an image now. Turns out we had a power extension kit behind this TV, so it wasn't like we had an actual electrical outlet there. What we had instead was a power bridge kit that went down to that surge protector. So for whatever reason, I don't know if there was a loose connection or whatever the case may be, but simple unplug, replug, give it some time, update the firmware, and it seems like we're good to go again, we're golden. So we got picture back. So we fixed that issue, but streaming is pretty slow. What I'm gonna do is there's a firmware update available for the router. So we're gonna go ahead and update the firmware on the router. There was an update last year on this model. It was originally capped at about 600 megs of speed um, on this router, but this recent firmware update allows them to go up to a gig. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and improve the streaming on their Apple TV. While the firmware update updates, I just I like to come over here and check all the components. Everything looks okay, except I do see the IR emitter fell off the cable box. We're gonna get that fixed. I've got my battery powered hot glue gun to fix that. Otherwise, all the other components are in working order. While we're here, we're also gonna do a test on the shades that we installed about a year ago. Looks like those are good, but that one's not moving, so I'm going to investigate what's going on with that one. So I think it has to do with the battery being low on the motor. So these are micro USB rechargeable, so they last about six months on a single charge, and it's probably been about a year since I've been here last. So I've gone ahead and plugged it into its charger. I'm going to give it 15 minutes or so and just try it again, verify that it's just a low battery. Looks like we do have control of the shade now, so likely just a low battery. So we're gonna get that taken care of. So it's sort of an industry rule that you don't do firmware updates on Fridays. And I didn't follow that advice because you know, what could be wrong with updating your firmware? Apparently everything, I updated the router. And when I did that, I now have no local or Wi-Fi access. So I might have to factory reset the router and reset up all the IP scheme, so that'll be fun. So we're currently in the process of factory resetting the router, and then I made a backup file of the configuration, so I should be able to um, just reload that backup file. We'll be good to go. All right, so the saga continues. Um, ended up reverting the firmware back, and we do have internet again with the old firmware, so I'm gonna to try to update it again to the new and see if it sticks and keeps internet with the new firmware. So we updated back to 7.0 and we are back to not having any internet. So this might have to live on the reverted firmware until we replace it. All right, that was the fix. We've got the interwebs back. This project is just gonna live on the 682 firmware. So I guess there's something hardware incompatible with the 7.0 update. And we're back. So after all that drama with the firmware version, um, we've got full control back with our Savant remote. We've got Wi-Fi on the network and we're ready to go again.